Hello my Lemmy Puffs, this is Oracle Daphne, my name is Beth um, and I am back again doing the sex and relationships videos um, for everyone with their ascendant sun or moon in the lovely Scorpio. Um, I call all my Scorpio clients and friends Lemmy Puffs, little puffs of lamb because of their sweet nature when they're not backed into a corner, okay? And so, so yeah, so that's what I call them. And um, there's a soft spot in, in my heart for, for all dear Lammy Puffs. Um, okay, so this is, you know, this should be an exciting reading for you guys because, you know, sex is always on a Scorpio's mind, right? Um, so I do want to apologize for not getting this out sooner, and I just thank you for being patient. Um, I'm not sure, though, when I am going to be back with these readings. I'm going to be back doing my regular Shadowscapes videos probably mid-May. But I'm not 100% um, sure when I'm going to have the time to do the sex and relationship ones. I can't really do all of them because um, it takes up so much time and I have so many clients waiting for me that I, I hate to set them set them aside. Um, so, so that's kind of where I'm at with it. But just so you guys know, this is, I'm using the Decameron Tarot. This is um, an erotic deck, okay? So this video is going to contain strong um, sex content, strong erotic images, and this is for mature viewers, 18 or over, okay? Uh, and so if you haven't seen my videos before, that's, um, that's what's kind of coming up. So let me just roll out, what, see what I get for you guys. Um, and this is for May. Um, everyone with their Ascendant, Sun, or Moon, and Scorpio for the month of May 2015. And so let's see what we get. Ooh. Now I have shuffled. Ooh. It's quite the mix. Hmm. Okay. I don't like the outcome for you guys, so I am going to pull additional card, which I also don't like that. This one's better. Okay, so... This is where I'm going to start with the end, okay? This is where I'm going to start um, with the... The final, the final card. It's not totally the final because I pulled a couple of additional ones, but the final card is really about, and you've got two cards. What's crowning you in the final card? It's really about um, being in a relationship that's just about the services, you know, exchange sex as an exchange of goods and services, okay? Primarily services. Um, it's like, this is the card... Um, well, you can see where this is the clergyman and this is, you know, she's reaching into his cloak there and giving him a hand job. She's servicing him. It's a service. Okay. It's like a service. Um, and this card, which is what's crowning you. So that was the outcome. This is what's crowning you here. And this is, you can see where it's like, he goes to touch her and she's not in the mood. You know, it's cold. It's cool. She's not feeling anything when he touches her. She's not interested. Um, it's sort of like the difference between when you touch someone and you feel something and then you touch somebody else and you don't feel anything at all. This is where if you've been in a relationship, this is where it's really gone. The excitement has gone. It is gone. Um, it's interesting because what's crossing you is the excitement card. Okay, it is somebody, maybe this is what you're craving. Okay, so it's just, you know, you may be in two different boats. Some Scorpios may be really, and I think predominantly, because this is general, predominantly some of, most of you are going to be in, um, going through a time where, you know, in a way, a time of breakups, a time where, you know, the relationships that you've had aren't fulfilling anymore. This, the sex isn't good. It's not, it's just, you don't, you're not, you don't want to, or you may even kind of be in a relationship and you don't want to have sex. You may be going through kind of a period of time where you're just not feeling it. You don't want to do it. Um, it's felt, it feels mechanical. It feels like there's no emotion in it. It feels like there's just not much in it that that needs to be in it and it's not exciting anymore okay and then others are kind of having this 
um, kind of exciting moment where it's like the guy is so impassioned. He's, you know, they're basically about to have sex on the kitchen table. You know, they're all their clothes are coming off and suddenly they're doing it and it's unexpected. Okay. Um, Libra also got this card. So you may be in a relationship with the Libra guys. Okay. Scorpio guys um, and our girls. Um, but let's go back to, I'm going to read this card because this is the outcome. Okay, let's go back to this. It says, a hypocrite in love, someone who likes getting all the attention because they were not given love and attention as a child. This is to lord power over someone. This is to use sex as power, like a trade. Um, the sex, um, in a marriage, um, the sex in this kind of a marriage is really a legal, legal form of prostitution. Um, it can also indicate prostit prostitutes or call girls or relationship where there is no emotion um, in sex at all. Um, basically, it's just turned into exchange of goods and services. Um, this is where someone like is enjoying the fact that you like them. Also, this can be just that, where they are they like the attention that they're they're going to get from you. They know they're going to get attention from you, and they're. They're lording that over you. It's like someone that's like doesn't want to call you back because they just like the fact that you're calling them. You're calling them. You're wondering what's going on with them. Why aren't they there? Why aren't they da 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 da? And they're just they 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 may hit ignore. They may talk later because they're enjoying the attention. They're enjoying the fact that you're paying attention to them. So it's it's you know he's kind of lording over some power over this person in a way. Um, this can indicate I'm getting people that are in a position of. You might say power. I don't consider it power, true power, but, you know, in like a higher government position, um, kind of getting, getting a tingle on this, which is unfortunate. Um, being serviced by someone who's not of that higher standing, okay? Maybe, you know, this is someone who's, uh, you know, again, prostitutes, call girls, getting sexual services, maybe because they're not getting it in their marriage, but they don't want to have an affair because they don't want it to get out, you know, so they kind of go along, go around and they sleep with prostitutes or women that, um, you know, offer are offering it as a service. Okay. So best case scenario in a way, someone's just lording power over you. Um, someone like likes the attention that you're giving them and you're giving them you're giving them too much power okay the more you talk to them or the more you try to talk to them or the more they pull away and the more you try to talk to them and that's a Scorpio okay if somebody pulls away Scorpio goes right in and tries to like cling on and will not let go and so that's giving them all your power away Scorpio Scorpio like to be in power so it's like for some of you you're in a position of the person that likes the control the person that um, maybe someone's giving you attention, you know what I'm saying? And you're lording power over them. You may be not calling somebody back, maybe ignoring somebody. And you know that they're going to be there, <gasps> excuse me, no matter what. Um, maybe you're that person, maybe, but you're maybe the other Scorpio who, um, you know, who is trying to get someone's attention and that person is ignoring them. So they're ignoring you. So it can go either way, okay? Um, basically, the bottom line is, for most of your Scorpio relationships, it's it's a dead end. It's not going anywhere, okay? Um, the relationship has grown cold, okay? Whether you slept with that person or didn't sleep with that person, it doesn't matter. There's coldness in the relationship with the... The, the eye of the, the person that you have your eye on, basically. Um, that's, that's what's going on here. Because that's what's crowning you, and that's the outcome. So it's what's going on with you in the beginning, and the end colors the whole thing. Um, and some of you are um, lesbian, bisexual women, uh, Scorpio ladies, and you may be kind of bi-curious, and you may want to... Um, you may be kind of over guys. You may be kind of going through a period where you're over guys and you kind of want to experiment with women and you kind of want to see where that goes. Um, and this says bisexuality for a woman. This is the desire to experiment with other women. This can also indicate by curiosity or a desire for a relationship with a woman 
Um, this is need for female attention, i.e. it's the clitoris, okay? Um, and this does not involve, this is the kind of thing where it doesn't involve a penis at all. Um, so you may be a lesbian and you may just be, you know, um, looking for a relation, a new relationship, a new female, re new female partner, okay? Um, for a lot of you Scorpios, it feels like, um, it feels like because what's around you is you've been dating a lot of guys. So I don't see um, really other any other single females in here. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist in real life. It just means that for the most of you, for the most part, Scorpios that are watching this, I would say predominantly, um, you're looking for a relationship. You're heterosexual and you're looking for a relationship with a straight male or straight female. Um, so I already talked about this card, which is the excitement, which is what's crossing you, okay? I feel like mm, there also is some, you, some of you were in a cycle of cheating, okay? Uh, breaking up and getting back together um, because the foundation is a, an affair. So maybe in the distant past, you were either involved with someone who was having an affair or you were um, having an affair yourself, okay? And typically... I don't know if you can see it. You got the girl here is clinging on to this guy, okay? And she is, she's naked. She's, she's kind of at a disadvantage. She is really into him. He's riding off with her, okay? Um, and this to me is the male's cheating, okay? So if you, Scorpio female, your relationship with the male, he was cheating, okay? It says a male is cheating, a female is just in it for the sex and the fun of it, okay, uh, and for the power. So this person, is I don't feel like it's you. This person is the girl that he's cheating on you with. And she's just like, she may compare herself to you. He may have told her, you know, shit about you, and um, which is not true, you know, most of it's not true. And she's, you know, making her kind of feel pumped up, like her ego is pumped up. She's, not, she's on, in it for the power, too. She's in it. She's got a power trip going on. Um, she's in it for selfish desires and lust, you know, without thought for other people involved. So she's not thinking about you. She's thinking about her and how she likes this guy and how he's going to do it to her and, and da, 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 da. Um, and this is where one or both people get hurt in the end. Okay. So chances are, you know, in the past, your boyfriend or husband or somebody was cheating on you and it was a lose-lose situation. Okay, um, basically the other girl, the guy, the girl, your husband or partner was cheating on you with is happy only until she falls for him, basically, which is inevitable if they start sleeping together for a long period of time, it happens. Um, and um, I always say the message on this card is make sure that a short term affair does not become long term. Okay, which is usually it's bound to happen. Um, most affairs, even if they're short. Uh, they have a risk, high, I call it a high risk rate of going long term. Why? Because people get comfortable, people like each other, people just like the convenience, and then eventually they get to know each other. They start having sex. They start to get to, you know, be into each other. So um, chances are she fell for him, which is unfortunate. <coughs> but at the same time, she's learning a lesson, okay? Mm. I'm so sorry, I have a tickle in my throat. Um, so there was this cheating, and maybe you were fighting with your spouse, and you were making up. You know, you fought, and then you made up, because you got the makeup card in the recent past. Um, this this is the true love card, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's like, because if there's cheating involved, to me it's not true, true love. It's not real. You think it's true love. Um, some of you, though, I will go so far as to say some of you, it is true love. Some of you, the person that you've been seeing or the, you're in a marriage partnership, this is true love for you. Okay, I'm going to hold it up again. Um, and it says to make up and do it well. Um, things get better. Relationship goes to another level. Um, sex is amazing and orgasmic. Hot and heavy. Intensity is incredible. The woman makes up for yelling and the man loves her regardless. This is true love. And I said, wear a condom because it can also indicate pregnancy and fertility. Um, and I wrote, your love is true. 
Um, so, so some of you are in um, either a cycle of breaking up and getting back together, or you're just in a cycle, uh, or you're in a relationship and you are experiencing true love. You are experiencing a relationship that lasts the test of time. However, because you have this hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold vibe going on here, uh, it feels very unstable. Even if you think it's true love, to me, it doesn't feel like mm, it's going to really withstand the long term, even though you would like it. It feels like you would like it to, but I don't feel like it's necessarily going to. And, okay, so we have cold, hot, cold, and then this is the hot card. And this is a very, very strong hot card. This is like the hot, hot pepper card. Okay. It says, doing it in more ways than one, to have sex, um, i.e. on the floor, on the couch, in the bed, in the kitchen, on the wall, rather than just fucking and there's a difference. Um, it says, oh yes, hot, passionate sex, satisfying for both partners. This is a great time to get off on each other, to be totally into, into it. It says a honeymoon that lasts, the orgasmic uh, sex, multiple positions, sex that works and flows. Um, so I'm going to show you the card again, just so you kind of, some of you maybe missed it. To me, I feel like I keep wanting to say all the bells are ringing. You know what I mean? It's like the bells are going off. It's kind of like that, um, I think, was it Mulholland Drive? That movie? Was it Naomi Watts? She was like, she was masturbating. And then when she finally had the orgasm, like the phone rang or the alarm or something went off or like the doorbell rang. I don't know. To me, it's kind of like all the bells are ringing. Um... And I, I say that partly because it's funny because this is like, the, I think this is the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups, to me, it's, this reminds me of a bell because it's uh, on, up there. So it's like the bell and then like all these like little marks around her. To me, it's all the bells. It's orgasmic. It's hot. You know, it's heavy. Um, so hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. It's like you want it, but you don't. You want it, but you don't. You see, you see that the sex is good. Um, but for some reason, there's some things that are not really matching up. Um, what's coming in from the outside is the proposal, to, oh, sorry, the engagement and marriage card. So I feel like I could have two very different Scorpio relationships going on here. Um, one of them is hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold, getting, breaking up and getting back together. There's cheating involved, there's maybe stagnation in the sex life involved, and then there's another potential Scorpio relationship here, which is um, you find a partner that really excites you, the sex is amazing, and you get engaged. Um, it's interesting because there's this conflict, though. There's this part of me that just doesn't feel like, for the most part, for the most part, you guys are going to be experiencing this hot and cold thing where it's like the universe says yes and then your partner says no. I feel like it's the, the problem is it's not that you don't want the engagement or marriage and it's not that the universe isn't supporting you and wanting that. It's just that it doesn't feel like necessarily your partner wants that, okay? Uh, and and not, not for everybody, but for a lot of you. It feels like the other person, the person that you're interested in, doesn't necessarily want the commitment. You want the commitment. You want the amazing sex. And maybe the sex is really amazing, but it doesn't feel like it's going to, if the proposal did happen and if the sex was really that amazing, then there'd be some solidification of the cards. The outcome would be different. At least... I feel like it would show something different. It wouldn't be as negative as this final card here, okay? Um, and you got two cards about, one is the affair, like which is like an affair with someone who really doesn't give a shit about the other person, involved, all the other people involved. And then this is a player, okay, where it's more about the player who um, is is a man uh, looking for a good time, a non-commitment, trying to experiment by sleeping around, 
Um, this is females just, this could be a female who's just looking for fun. Um, two young kids just kind of testing the waters when I say kids, you know, they're just young, young, young adults, I should say, maybe early 20s, 20, 21, 22, 23. They're just kind of experimenting. Um, this is the need to get it out of your system and be wild before settling down. This is to spend a lot on dating, drinking, partying, and not caring much. Um, you can see he's throwing all his money away, you know, on this date, on this hot, fun date, who he's going to go home and fuck, you know, her brains out. And then it's, um, it's, you know, I feel like it's a one night, two night thing. It's not like they're going to be together forever. It's not like they're really going to, uh, I feel like their relationship's going to grow cold because that's kind of what's happening here. I feel like there's a coldness going on in May. It's like a chill. It's like a wind chill. Um, as it's sort of like, again, it's hot and cold, but it's overall a chill a little bit. It's like a cold breeze that even if there's something hot, it's still, there's that breeze there. Um, so I feel like it's not yet time for you guys. Um, and I've said this in other videos too, where the outcomes on the negative side, where you may be waiting for Mr. Right. You may think you have found Mr. Right, but, um, it's not yet time for you to find, it's not the, the person that you've been dating or the people you've been dating, they're not Mr. Right. I don't feel that way. And, you know, you may love that person, but they're not Mr. Right. I don't feel that way. Um, and there's this element of, you know, someone leaving and coming back because this is also making up for lost time. This is a card about making up for lost time. Um, this card is doing it outside. It says to make up for lost time, having a long distance relationship or coming together after being apart. This is a woman who knows how to please her man. Um, it says a man who is totally satisfied. Um, to not want to wait any longer to be together. There's so much love between you, so much desire and amazing sex. You're tired of waiting. I feel like you're tired of waiting. This, to me, this can also indicate, for those of you who are single, you're tired of waiting for Mr. Right. You're tired of waiting for this engagement, a romantic proposal to have this amazing sex. You're tired of waiting for that. Some of you are waiting. That's the position of attitude. You're waiting for something good, for something real to happen. And potentially it's to to feel this really strong connection that you, I feel like you're capable of having that you had in the past, okay? Your old lovers, you had some old lovers in the past that there was a connection to, okay? Uh, and, and for some of you, there, there may have been an engagement or proposal, there may have been flirtation, um, foreplay, there may have been tantalizing foreplay, okay, kind of thing. Um, this may have been like a suitor who wanted to woo you in some way or got, got excited about wooing you. Um, this is about getting, this card is about getting excited about the first date. Um, this is like a makeout session that doesn't go anywhere, okay, sometimes. Okay, this can indicate that. Um, this is to look forward to the it's getting excited on the first date or to look forward to the fun in the bedroom. Um, the problem with this guy, okay, this can indicate uh, Mr. Wrong or Mr. Right, okay, depending on um, how serious the guy is, okay. And I feel like the guy is not that serious comparatively because you have a whole bunch of other serious car, non-serious player dudes here going on. I don't feel like he, this can be the suitor, okay? The guy who wants, who does show up with flowers, who wants to take you on a date, who wants to be that person. But he also can be the guy who t is very tantalizing. There's a lot of tantalizing foreplay flirtation, but it doesn't lead to sex, okay? Or maybe it leads to sex too quickly and you never quite get to, um, to date five because you had sex too soon. Okay, um, that's my feeling. Um, so, um, you know, that pretty much covers all your cards. However, I pulled two additional cards. One of them is um, needing to get out of this relationship. 
okay, that's just turned mechanical, if you're in one, or needing to kind of wait out this time of coldness, okay, in, you feeling, I feel like you're feeling bitter. I feel like you're bitter because maybe something didn't happen the way you wanted it to with the relationship. There's bitterness, there's coldness, okay, and it, you need to kind of get through that period of time. Um, and then you got this card, and a lot of other people got this card, too, this um, whole series. It's been interesting to see what signs are getting. Um, this is working too much um, and not having enough time or energy for sex. I think everybody kind of is ultimately overworked um, in the month of May. I feel like maybe it's the... Maybe it's because the you know, sun is in the sign of Taurus. I don't know. It's very strange. But I feel like everybody's really overworked, underpaid, not taking enough time to have sex. That's probably what's wrong with the world, to be honest with you. If everyone was getting laid, everybody would be really excited and happy. I think even if the, the sex sucked, at least things would be better. The endorphins would be going, all those lovely chemicals, you know. Um, this is need to find balance. Um... You're also underserviced, okay? Um, this is needs for sex still remains. Would rather have sex than work any day. Time to take a day off. Happiness is at stake. There is a young lady, and I add, or a man, waiting for you to come home to fuck them, okay? And um, so if you take a day off, um, and if you get out of your relationship, um, I feel like you're going to find that you meet and have this experience. You meet someone, I feel like this is a new person, someone new, okay? And this is probably the best card in the deck. I think that's the best card in the deck. Um, this is, I wrote, sex is wild. Oh yeah, baby. This is says, a satisfying, fun, healthy, committed relationship, doing it again and again, each time is more fun and better and better. This is to love deep, I can't talk, to love deeply, to fuck hard, to have sex. This is hotter and hotter, don't stop, keep going, absolute perfection, consummation, love, and love. Um, and I wrote, oh yeah, baby. And at the top, I wrote, yes, yes, yes. So basically, Scorpio, you need to let go of this, of these player dudes, okay, or these player ch chicas, okay, girls. Um, you need to let go of a marriage or a relationship that got cold. You need to work on not being bitter, work on working less, and I feel like in June, early June, um, even late May. I feel like it's more early June when I say that. I'm getting the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th of June, okay? You're either going to meet someone new or you're going to have um, some good sex or both. I hope it's both for you. Um, so, um, but it's going to be a challenge for you because I feel like Scorpios don't let go. So you may be, have bitterness that you're not letting go of. You may be in a relationship that you're not letting go of. You may be working and you're going, well, Beth, I have to work. I have this job, da 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 da, da. Well, here's what you're missing. You're missing that amazing, this is what you're going to be missing, okay? To be honest, I wouldn't want to miss that, okay? No. So it's up to you. I mean, it's your your call, your life, your choice, but I do feel like at some point you're going to realize that in order for you to have Mr. Right or Mrs. Right, you need to uh, be in a space to enjoy it, be in a space to want it, be in a space that's clear of negativity, clear of the past, just so you're kind of free, free, you need to be kind of a free agent. And, you know, it's so hard for Scorpios to be free and single. It terrifies them, I think, to be honest with you. Because um, Scorpios need that deep connection. They're, they're all about deep connection. So it's like, for them to be single is probably a terrifying thought. But it's something that Scorpio has to learn and something that Scorpio has to deal with. Um, so... Um, but I wish you the best, my dear lamb pops, and um, that is all for now. So I'm going to send you big hugs, big hugs, big kisses.
And I will talk to you guys again soon. All right, take care.